sleep all day, okay? Maxine makes a pizza. Or Maxine cuts a pizza. I put an air filter in it some minutes yesterday. That's a minute, bro. A lot better. Is it? Did you hear a car spin out out there earlier? Burned the rubber down. No, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker burned him down, too. I was going up the hill, and I turned out, and I went to the men's stop to get some cigarettes. When I turned out, yeah, I was already going about 20, and I gas so on the side of the truck. <laughs> put that air filter in there, it was about stopped up, you know, just keeping it from getting the, all the air it needed yesterday, and I put that new air filter in there, so getting it all it needs now. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to wreck it. Now you're going to wreck it? Mm-hmm. How are you going to do that? Just, I'll get drunk real, real drunk and drive erratically. I'm still getting in an accident. I'll get video. All right. <laughs> you need a head cam. A head cam? Yeah. Where's some duct tape? You, can you can't hold the camera and let me wreck. I'll get some duct tape. Uh, It'll be too head. shaky. It'll be cool, though. I can, I can get a wreck now. You are, I wish you would have been there to videotape that last one I got in with my buddy. Uh -huh. When I run up on this car, that was cool. It was like this coming down the road. He was in this lane going 30, about 35, and I was in this lane, mm -hmm. and I was running 135. And he's moving like this, and I'm moving like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I was in this lane, and I went to sleep, and I started coming off like this. I caught him just like that. And then I kind of went like that when it was over with. My front bumper on this side was up against the steering wheel. I had the steering wheel pushed in the dash. The passenger side right here, just, you know, the bumper stopped right in the back of the seat. The trunk and all this shit was gone off of the car. My buddy went down on the floorboard up under the steering wheel and all. And when right, well, it was a little bit further over this way, the door buckled. And when the door buckled out right here, that's where he went out right there. If the door hadn't buckled to give him that extra room, it would have crushed him in the car. So he was okay? Yeah, they had to lie flat him. He was out of the hospital about two months later. Was he horribly deformed? He was fucked up pretty bad. Knocked all his teeth out and everything. And he got mad at me. Because you ran, rear-ended him at 135 miles an hour? Yeah. I was in one of them big, like the uh, Crown Victoria, the old cop style cop car, the big box car. Uh -huh. I was in one of them, and he was in a 91 Cougar. So he didn't stand a chance. <laughs> I had to get down over, I had to cab and all that shit, that car. I had the exhaust, I had the exhaust running out the side of the car, you know. And, uh, you know, dual exhaust, had positive traction rear end, had a 351 uh, Wesley modified in it. Uh huh. was bad. And it's really souped up. The motherfucker hit 100 like that. And the speedometer pressure at 135. And it, whenever you wreck it, you know, it stops.